Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The next chemistry demo will be one of the most exciting and scary ones of this evening. So, first we'll introduce ourselves. I'm Kathy, and my partner is Mindy. Okay, so. <laughs> um, the reason why this will be very exciting is because we're exploring stuff, which is always fun, right? Besides it, we will also be telling you about a scientific discovery that has been kept a secret until now. So, without any further ado, let's start. Everyone has probably asked, why is the sky blue? Well, this question actually originates from a time when, yes, the sky in fact was always blue. As soon as the sun would rise, we would be covered under an immense span of blue, without that greenish golden in-between phase or the colorful sunsets that we would see, until one day... An alchemist, like other alchemists who are always trying to find new things, questioned himself, why don't I use some other gases to blow up balloons? Balloons may be considered as children's toys right now. However, they used it to be like a, a key component of serious matters, such as alchemy. So, first, he used dragon's breath to light the balloon. And when he lit it, <laughs> there was a great explosion of crimson flame. And he thought, hmm, that was interesting. So he tried some other gases, like one infused with mermaid's laughter. Do any of you like mermaids? <laughs> <laughs> Which produced a lovely shade of magenta. So followed by was the Phoenix Feather Extract. Which made a yellow-orange flame. And then a gas with lizard scale powder. And then it comes out an airy green glow. We don't know what the alchemist did after that, but the important thing is that all those colorful gases floated up to the sky, tinted it, and it became the sunsets we see every day. Okay, so before we finish off the demo, we're going to explain some of the real science behind it. What we did was we put different metals, which were lithium, potassium, sodium, and copper, into those four balloons. And when we lit it up, they reacted differently and produced different colors. But who knows, maybe an alchemist in a parallel universe is discovering the same secrets about balloons right now. Well, that's about the end of the story. Thanks for listening, and we hope you enjoyed.